Hey guys, I just thought I would do a bit of a different chilled, chatty, blog style, um, kind of like a makeup video but more of a chilled one. As you can tell, this setting is a bit different. I'm in my bedroom um, just because, yeah, we're all on this quarantine and chill situation unfortunately. So um, yeah, I just felt like... I mean, I'm not going anywhere, of course. <laughs> so I wanted to put a little bit of makeup on today because I wanted to actually try out some new concealers, but um, I couldn't be bothered to go into my filming room and do the whole shebang and, and do this whole thing, um, like a whole, a whole like major look and film Instagram videos and all of that. So I just thought, you know what? I feel like actually chatting to you guys and having a bit of a chilled one and um, kind of also getting some things off my chest about what's going on um, and how it's kind of like affecting me personally. I never ever set up my makeup in my bedroom so this is like really weird for me. My actual dressing table is on that side of my room but that then that means the window would be behind me. I wouldn't get good lighting on my face. I don't have lighting set up in my bedroom. So yeah, this is this is the best that I can do right now. I'm currently just sat on a stool instead of my bed as well. Because otherwise I would have been too far away. It's all going on. But yeah, I'm trying. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put on some tinted moisturiser by Laura Mercier first of all. I mean, I don't even have a mirror. What am I doing? But yeah, how is everyone? How is this whole um, staying at home quarantine thing going for you? I feel like it is such a change in everyone's kind of lifestyle, um, which is obviously needed and it's for the better and for, for other people. You know, if not for the people directly around you, it's for just other people in general in the world yeah we can't really be selfish and only think of ourselves at this time or only think of like our family we have to think of other family members or other families sorry out there as well um i actually don't mind quarantine like staying at home and doing all of that <laughs> because i feel like i'm so used to it where i've been working from home for a few years um i think it's been three years now i've actually lost count i should really while i've got the time i should actually look back to see when i um when i actually quit working full time and came to do youtube full time so i don't know why i'm putting on my tinted moisturizer like this by the way i mean i guess you can apply it with your hands i wasn't planning on doing it like this and now, no, I don't want to apply it like this. Just wait, wait, wait. I'm like used to being at home and so I don't mind it. And it's also like, for me doing YouTube, it's a really good opportunity for me to just stay at home for longer and get more videos done, more content. And I've seen like online, some people asking their followers like, oh, do you still want me to post stuff as normal or should I not? And for me personally, like I've not asked you guys because I've like made the decision myself to carry on because we all know what's happening in the news. We all know what's happening in the world. And for me, making makeup videos and like getting on with some like a normal part of my life is keeping me sane um, and will keep me sane. You know, obviously where I'm not going to meetings anymore, not going to events, um, just generally not leaving the house for other normal stuff. At least this way I can do a small part of my normal life which and, and something that I thoroughly enjoy doing which is making videos for you guys and I also see it as a way of like I don't know ha um, like giving you guys a distraction away from the news or whatever else is going on in the world it is sad and yes we should all be aware of everything that's going on but at the same time like Everyone needs a break from it and everyone needs like something else to look at and something else to do. So if it gives you a chance to practice your makeup skills, um, like, you know, because there are some people that watch makeup videos and then they say, oh, I love watching them, but I just never get the time to actually do them. 
now's your chance, honey. You know, um, and, and you know what? Yeah, something that's actually really pissed me off um, online and on socials is, sorry, I'm gonna go on a rant here, so I just have to, I need to get it off my chest. But like, yeah, something I've seen online and on socials is people saying, oh, I'm bored, I'm bored at home. Or even like I was watching ITV um, this morning and so, uh, you know, they have like little segments on the show. And someone was saying like, oh yeah, look, I know it's boring being at home. And I just think that is such a negative way of looking at the like what we have to do if you keep on the news or on tv or like on whatever show if you keep telling people and on social media if you keep telling people oh it's boring being at home i know it's boring it's boring it's boring that is only putting out a negative message it's a negative word it is only making it sound worse it's only making it feel worse and making everyone like not want to not want to do it and this is a time like where we all just need to get on with it come together and we actually need to see the positives in the situation um so yeah it's really pissed me off seeing people on social media saying that it's boring being at home i'm so bored like or or on tv like yeah i know it's really boring being at home but you know you just blah, blah, blah. no turn it around into okay well at least you guys might save some petrol money over the next couple of weeks or months whatever while you're at home yes i'm not saying that there aren't um negatives people are losing out on money people are like i'm self-employed i don't know when i'm next gonna get paid work for god's sake like i don't know if brands are gonna want to still do sponsorships while all of this is going on are they even going to be able to get products out to me no like it is affecting everyone so i'm not sitting here on my high horse to be like mm, get on with it i'm saying like stop saying that it's boring because there's so many things that you could do at home and there are ways of making staying at home like not boring and there are ways of making it a bit more positive and i'm sure there will be moments where i might get bored and i'm sure there will be moments where we all get bored but instead of like just labeling staying at home as boring we can just turn it around into a positive and be like well at least i can practice my makeup tutorials that i've wanted to do or now i can clean out my cupboards or now i can meditate or now i can like I don't know bake a cake or learn a new recipe or just do something else oh now i can finish that netflix series even if it is you sitting on your ass but you're just doing something that you've wanted to do then do it like really you can and no one's telling you you can't i honestly can't get this freaking concealer out of this box this whole time one second i'm just trying the pat mcgrath concealer in the shade lm13 so yeah yeah, no one's like, I can't remember what I was saying actually. Ooh. Okay, coverage. Yeah, I don't know, like, I just think everyone needs to change their mindset in order to get through this much better. Yeah, like, everything you do in life, I think, is, is all down to, uh, it's all down to mindset, like... And I'm not perfect. I literally have my moments. I struggle. I just wanted to rant about that really because I'm so sick of seeing people say it's boring or I'm bored. Well, do something then. Do something. Like, call your friends. Read a book. Like, Amazon is still doing damn deliveries. Order something on Amazon. Order a board game. You know? There are plenty of things that you could do. Um, <laughs> but yeah rant over oh this concealer is nice for me i feel like my most challenging thing about um this whole quarantine situation is staying at home with my family <laughs> for this long because like my parents go to work during the week and well monday to saturday and um usually i'm home alone by myself or if anything i'm home with my mum because she goes to work less so that's like nice and chilled and it's cool but now that like yeah 
I say everyone, but it's just me, my mum and my dad. And it was my brother as well. Um, yeah, now that it's like, there's all of us, I, I find that more challenging because the, the house no longer feels like it's my space. Like during the day, it's like my space. I can roam free, I can use whichever room. And it's usually like the kitchen because it's such an open space, a space, space. I'll like go down there and, you know, but now it's like if you go downstairs and you want to make something, someone else is going to be like, oh, what are you making? Do you know what I mean? When you when you just want to get on with yourself and do your own thing. So I find that more challenging than actually, actually trying to um, fill the time. I think this shade is a bit too warm for what I wanted to do. But it's still a nice shade. Coverage wise, it's beautiful. It is a really, really weird and difficult time right now. And we all just, I actually feel better that we're all going through it together as as like the whole world. If you can hear people talking, it's my mum on FaceTime, by the way. Right, so I have light and medium in her powders. I might try light because I find that this concealer shade is quite warm but how cute is the packaging oh, the sun is going so the lighting is changing so annoying but anyway this is the light powder this is what it looks like hopefully i don't oh my god i literally just span this round in the pan and the powder is like dusty as hell oh god oh, it's really really fine oh it's almost like a loose powder but pressed okay that's a really nice powder and this is the light one and it's not like interfering with the shade it's like translucent basically okay pat mcgrath i feel like she always comes through but yeah anyway i want to know guys what are you doing during your quarantine time um <clears throat> are you enjoying the extra time with your family are you doing it by yourself how are you coping if you are by yourself and are you baking like i've been baking <laughs> um are you cooking are you reading a book um and how are you just feeling in general about everything do you feel like your life has been put on hold or or you're or you're fine like i don't know it's just such a weird time I feel really, really sad because I don't know if, like, you guys saw on my Instagram, but I basically launched my podcast, which isn't out yet, but I launched the trailer and the Instagram page. I'll leave it here for you now. And I was so, so, so excited about it. I was literally ready to get cracking. I had the episodes, like, ready to go, as in we were going to start recording from uh, last week. And I had some amazing, amazing guests lined up. I'm not going to say them now because I'm just going to wait. Um, God, guys, this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer situation and this concealer is giving me some flawless vibes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not even going anywhere. Um, I'm so, so, so excited to like get going with that and then get that out to you guys. And what annoyed me more was that I'd launched it and, and told everyone that it's happening and then the studio closed and obviously everything closed and everything just stopped and I was just so heartbroken about that but obviously I know it's all for the best and no one's at risk and ev everyone is better to be safe than sorry but I was just like oh no like everything that I've been working towards behind the scenes has now been put on hold till I don't know when. Um, how long do you guys think that this will go on for? I mean, the quicker people like realise how serious this is and, and actually um, like just stay at home and listen to the government like advice, then the quicker this will be over. But I'm really hoping it's not for too long. My whole My whole brother's wedding got postponed as well, by the way, which was so 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 sad we don't know when it's gonna be 
we did actually manage to do a small registry wedding um on the weekend just gone and it was literally just our two families and it was so small um and it's just because they wanted to salvage like one thing from their wedding and you know they couldn't do the church wedding anymore his fiance's um christian and couldn't do the church wedding anymore obviously gurdwara is being postponed the reception all our like pre-wedding parties everything everything so and obviously we we'd been planning for like over a year so um yeah they just were like well we still want to get married and we want just we just want to do that bit at least so so they have and that was really really lovely and to be honest that day i completely forgot about coronavirus <laughs> I really really did um, which was quite nice but everyone was so conscious everyone was aware like everyone was hand sanitizing washing their hands every chance they got um, but yeah it was just such a small little gathering but it was nice but yeah like and that's another thing so he's gonna move out with her um, she already has a flat so they're gonna live together and um, yeah now it's just me and my mom and dad and i think i'm feeling like uh a bit emotional about that because i don't realize until like now i know he's going that how how like like how much of a difference it makes in my life like having my brother here so yeah i'm gonna try not to cry because sis has been crying today i've been emotional probably that time of the, the month is due I'm just feeling really funny. I guess we all are. And I just wanted to do a bit more of like a chilled, chatty video vibe. I don't even know what even makeup, what makeup look this even is. I've not even, I've not even got anywhere with it. And to be honest, I don't really care. Like I can't really be asked to keep going. Cause what's the point? Guess I'll put some mascara on. Yeah, I hope you're all well. I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're thinking of other people. And like I said, stay positive. Stay strong. And um, yeah, try and find something to do. I mean, I've got tons of videos for you to watch. Um, and I'm still going to be putting videos out there. So you're going to have new content twice a week, as usual. Um, so if you've watched all the videos before, then you've got new stuff coming and um yeah we'll just do something else i mean it doesn't have to be about makeup i'm watching cooking videos at the moment <laughs> and i'm actually trying to cook i don't know i just wanted to wish you all well stay positive guys i love you guys so 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 much and hopefully we're all gonna come out of this happy and well and you know maybe we'll have learned a new skill as well and yeah Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>